Hello, today I'm gonna to be talking about some other accessories, not quite the jewelry, but like mostly everything else. So let's get into it. Hi, my name is Maria and this is MM Design or mm, Design. This is a channel where I talk about fashion trends. Mostly I talk about the runways, but sometimes I talk about personal style as well. So today we're going to be talking about accessories more in the realm of like hats, scarves, gloves, and so on. So basically nothing metallic, more like leather products, but no bags or shoes. Okay, yeah, very niche. Without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about are the neckties. Okay, so we see so many of them on the runways. And is it part of that office siren look? Maybe. One thing I noticed for sure is a lot of leather ties. Need to get one for myself for sure. Or maybe I can upcycle something. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yes, we'll figure it out. Many shows had this more structured office core vibe. I feel like this is me on a daily basis. Even if I'm, I'm not even working in an office, I still want to rock this because I feel so confident and feel so cool with this on. I was like, yeah. We also see some shows just styling them as almost like a scarf, not really tied it up at all but majority of them were like this and I've seen also on the street style blogs people wearing them like a scarf for sure we also see this part of the shirt worn as an accessory yeah interesting we are going back to those very long thin scarves in Roberto Cavalli as well as Boss. I like the Boss interpretation, though the other one is giving me PTSD. No, thank you. We also see in Boss more like a leather thing. I'm not even sure what it is here. Let's talk about hats now. I am a hat lover, although I'm not wearing one right now, but just believe me, we have a lot of baseball hats on the runways, and this is the most wearable way of wearing hat trend, and I do quite like it. Hats are amazing when you are trying to go through that awkward stage of your hair isn't really clean, but it's not that dirty that you need to wash it, and that is one of the reason we just love it. And it also hides our our noses from the sun which is another great thing that we needed to save our noses from burning and we see it's styled more like in a sporty way as well as in more like a classy way as well so baseball cap is not only for the game of baseball you guys you can also make a statement with it bring some really unexpected styling towards an outfit a lot of these were a little bit worn in maybe they're like fringing some if for sure in diesel maybe they are faded and we can definitely find these styles in the thrift stores or even in our own closet and of course if you don't like that kind of thing you can go for a brand new very nice shaped hat that like a trucker hat for sure in D squared there were plenty of those. Ralph Lauren, as well as Dolce Gabbana, were bringing us something between a cowboy and just a wide brim hat, but Dolce Gabbana decided to pair it with a headscarf, which is really interesting for me. I prefer just the headscarf, no hat, maybe just a different hat. For some reason, that one is just not working for everything, in my opinion, but like I'm not a multi-million dollar designer, you know? Maybe they see something I don't. But head scarves are there mostly in Dolce Gabbana. They were mostly worn differently in other shows which we'll be looking at in just a few seconds like in Prada as well as in Diesel, Moschino, Caparelli and Roberta Cavalli, Tory Burch and somewhat of Yves Saint Laurent. More on the weird balaclava style. Etro has brought us a little tiny knitted hats on a lighter scale for spring summer. We have variety of hats in menswear for Louis Vuitton going from weird to weird basically. A little bit of the Benny, maybe in the oversized Benny hat to a baker's cap to yeah 
a little too much for me. Moschino had these really tall oversized bini with crystals on there. From the far it more looks like the Simpsons cartoon and Meg is just chilling around with them. Moschino also had these interesting little tiny hats. I'm not sure what that is all about. We see that in Dior as well. It's like almost peacocking but only with your hat. Louis Vuitton had a nice wide brim summer like a beach hat of some sort and yeah another one of a hat variety would be a veil so we see these not just for the brides we see them in more of a rock and roller like in rick owens in variety of colors black of course but there were other colors we also see this in vivian westwood but like just a a veil. We also see that in Ultra Zara in different colors as well, not just black. We also see this in Dolce Gabbana and there was like half veils. I can't remember the name, but it's just like this thing here in N21. Oh, and Undercover also did these, but they look like, I don't really don't like how they look. They're multicolored and they look like somebody just put they're stalking on their face, like how the bandons would do, but like it's a little bit looser. I don't know, it's just not for me. All right, the next one is tights or like stockings or something along the line. So we had this craze of red tights recently, right? For the fall winter. And I feel like they're going to continue on, but in other colors now. We see, of course, a lot of black and white and blah, blah, blah on the runways, but I feel like the tights have picked up so much in general public that they're still gonna be really relevant right now. Maybe with some funky patterns, if that suits your style, maybe something like more minimalistic, if that is your thing. I quite like tights. I have quite a large collection of them, so I'm definitely going to be trying to interpret that into my wardrobe. Okay, so next one up are belts. We see a variety of belts, of course, and it just depends. Like, is it the belt there to do some decorative purposes or is it there to hold your pants up? So yes, you can do both. Maybe with not a single belt. There is a, quite a lot of belts going around just as decorative, maybe like a chain around almost the waistline, or maybe they are even like almost a pendant on a chain here in Roberta Cavalli. Like it's as if you wanted to pierce your belly button, but then you're like, no, I'll just wear this instead. We also see some leather or rope that is tied around. So very skinny belts. We see skinny belts as well, like here in Gucci, quite a lot of them for sure. This is taking me back, but the medium sized belts are here as well. As far as decorative belts, we see in Blue Marine, lots of like butterflies and crystals and florals. I don't know if it's your style, go ahead but mm, this is like too y2k for me my stomach was like that two babies ago one thing burberry did was the lowered waistline effect on their coats and that was like not good at all but it's okay at least we have some belts and variety of sizes i think we're continuing into more like larger now for some shows we see the recurrence of that buckle the statement buckle but that was more like almost a cowboy situation like the western i know like we don't see a lot of western on runways the life has caught up to the fashion shows where i was talking about the western a few years back but now that beyonce released a western album everybody's like western cowboy hat and i don't mind that we are seeing here in miu miu more of that larger belt and doing a dropped waist but i feel like this one works burberry did not work Louis Vuitton also having more like an accessory. So these belts that are a little bit lower on your hips would be perfect for somebody who doesn't really have large hips because it attracts attention to that part. It makes it visually larger. If you want to not bring attention to that part of your body, think about belts that would be just around your waistline and not going down like the Y2K low rise trend. We see both and it just depends on your body type and like what you want to do. Also the proportions wise, if you have ridiculous long legs and short torso then the lowered 
waist, the, the lowered belt is for you. We also see some of the really mega large belts as well on the runways where it's almost like a kind of a half a corset or maybe it's a little bit of the pocket situation like a tool belt having some utilitarian aspect of it with like little pockets and like snap-ons and yeah. Stella McCartney had these a really large what are those called? They're, I'm pretty sure they're part of the pant. Yeah, because the seam is right on the side. But yeah, it, it, it's interesting. Definitely will make your legs look shorter. Okay, gloves. Gloves are like lover. I love the idea of having one. No, don't worry, I don't. Oh, I want to feel those butterflies in my stomach and I want to fall in love again. But then they're like, no, I love my husband. I don't think those butterflies are worth the drama. Anyway, so gloves are like that for me. I love how they look. I love like the aspect of styling them, but actually wearing them in everyday life. It's like something that I'm not ready for because one thing is the phones are usually not liking when some people wear gloves unless they have those special sensor thingy majiggies. Also another thing like they get dirty so much because they can't wash your hands with them right you need to take them off for eating and yada 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 but one thing that you could steal from this even though if you don't wear gloves on a daily is stylizing them by tucking them into your belt if they're longer, just tuck them in. They're gonna be a really cool accessory. We see lots of gloves, right? And then they're like super tall, almost opera gloves. With those, you can definitely do that. If they're like a little bit on the shorter side, maybe there's like a little hook that you can hook it up to your belt or something, like we've seen in Todd's. I also love how you can put bracelets on top of it. Like in Moschino, there's also that in Louis Vuitton. Like I feel like, not Louis Vuitton. If some Laurent like so gorgeous so beautiful love it I yeah I feel like whenever you're wearing gloves it's just like drama and it's beautiful yes that belt love Mwah, love it This completes my review on the accessories. There's already a part about sunglasses, shoes, bags, they're all separate, as well as about more like jewelry, like rings, bracelets, what, what is this, necklaces. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already. I really appreciate you watching till the end. If you're not already subscribed, please do. You can support me by liking this video, leaving me a nice little comment or sharing with somebody that you might think would enjoy this. If you wanna say hello to me on my Instagram, I am there daily. So I'll probably say hello to you back there for sure. And I love seeing you guys as outfits and seeing you guys as style because now I like, I have this connection. I'm more of a visual person. It's really hard for me to communicate verbally, but visually I'm like, yes. And some of you guys have it down like, Mwah. I'm like, yeah, fire. That is all from me today. I hope you're gonna have an amazing rest of the day and yeah, stay classy. Bye.